Hey, what's going on, everybody? Echo Side Fiend here, back once again, and today I gotta jump up on here and eat my words. I admit that I was wrong for the first time ever in my life, too, by the way. It's the first time I've ever been wrong about anything. But uh, I'm happy to admit that I was wrong about this specific thing. So if I gotta be wrong for the first time ever, this is a good good one to be uh, to be wrong about. So uh, you know, last Saturday I uploaded a video on my own personal channel here and on uh, Carnival Spirits, just. Uh, Discussing how I was getting to the point where I was thinking that Hollow Wicked would not be happening this year There's a few things that I pointed out that were kind of making me feel that way and I still stand by those things I still think they were legit reasons To come to the conclusion that Hollow Wicked may not be happening this year But like I said glad to admit that I was wrong glad to eat my words because ICP finally announced yesterday October 12th that Hollow Wicked 2021 is indeed happening on Halloween in Detroit so very excited about that uh, like I said they announced it yesterday on their Facebook and uh, the tickets went up for sale this morning at 10 a.m. and uh, one of the reasons that I was saying in my previous video was how close it was getting so they were cutting it real close it's literally two and a half weeks today um, until Halloween so they were they were cutting it real close but uh, they came through so tickets were 125 bucks uh, for here in Michigan, they came out to 143 and some change with uh, taxes and fees, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, I saw a lot of people were having issues getting the tickets. I saw several people posting they were getting, uh, you know, like a screen that was saying it was sold out. Uh, last time I checked, just a little bit before I was uh, started recording this, it was not sold out. I know there's only a thousand tickets available, but I can't imagine that it would not, you know, th that it would sell out that quick. It, it might be sold out by the end of the of today but I would be surprised if in within like the first one I saw was within like 15 minutes of uh, of the tickets going on sale so there was some type of an error or glitch in the link or something uh, but I got mine and most people I know that wanted them got them as well so anyway let's uh, let's go ahead and throw the uh, flyer up right here so you can see uh, what that looks like um, of course you can see they're all going down at the majestic theater majestic theater is a great venue so, uh, just like I said, you can see there, it says 1,000 uh, tickets available. I think the capacity is about 11 or 1,200 there, so, uh, you know, 1,000 thousand tickets seems uh, reasonable. Uh, you can also see there, it says that's where the Hollow Wicked tradition began, so that's pretty cool. Kind of go back to the where it all started. And as you can also see there, Yum Yum Bedlam is still shown to be dropping, so it looks like we have that to look forward to as well. So as far as the Majestic Theater, I've been there a few times. I've seen ICP there a couple times. I've seen Twisted there a few times. Twisted was doing their Fright Fest there for a few years in a row before they moved it to uh, St. Andrew's Hall. So the Majestic is just a really good venue. I'm glad that they're doing it there. This is a very, uh, a very historic venue. It's right downtown Detroit. It's got a very Detroit feel, if that makes sense. Uh, I think it's a great place to do Hollow Wicked. It's just, like I said, it's got that feel. The ambiance in the air, I think, will be really cool. So glad they're doing it there. It's a, a great sound. They got a lot of a lot of room. It's a, a big, large, open room. Uh, so a lot of room to maneuver. Uh, the bathrooms are nice, very clean. So anybody worrying about that, they're uh, they're good bathrooms. The last time I was there, and all the year, all the other times I've been there, but the last time I was there, they had bathroom attendance as well. So I don't know if the pandemic will change anything about that but they had bathroom attendance they have a, a nice bar so yeah good venue to do this at i think it'll be a, a great show um don't remember i mentioned that they got great sound there uh stage is big so i've been there quite a few times i've seen not just icp and twisted but i've also been there for uh other shows uh, i've seen some punk bands i've seen some metal bands there so just a good all-around venue so definitely going to be a good place to have it so I'm also just quickly uh, want to uh, point out I'm wondering if they're going to have a single. I, I would assume they will because that is a Hollow Wicked tradition, but I was wondering with it just being um, the information and everything being dropped so so soon to the event, uh, I'm wondering if they'll have enough time to do that or maybe they've already got one ready. I don't know. but um, So I'm hoping they do. I, I can't imagine they wouldn't. That's a, tra a tradition, so I'm really hoping that they'll be able to come through with that. And uh, as far as... Uh, my crew, I'm just going with my uh, my friends Ivory and Daniel and Miss Hollywood, as far as I know, is, is still coming. So the crew that I wasn't, I mean, we were all going to be together, but the group that I was going to be rooming with initially, everybody kind of backed out. So I actually just canceled 
my hotel room a little while ago uh, last night after the um, announcement, and I'm just going to be jumping in with Ivory, Daniel, and Miss Hollywood now. Um, I don't know how the driving arrangements are going, but we're all going to we we'll all be out there. We're all staying together. We are still at the the Baymont Inn, the old Stay Inn on Jefferson, so still at the same hotel. That's where I had my room booked, but I just uh, canceled mine, and I'm just jumping in with them. Uh, also, as far as just the uh, the YouTube community homies, I do know some other people who are going, but I don't want to say because they might want to make their own announcement videos. Uh, so I'll just uh, leave that to them, but I'm just going to point out that I'm excited to see everybody spend Halloween, uh, Hallowicked, with everyone, and I can't wait to get out there. So, And I'm just glad that it's happening. So my final thoughts on this, as far as the uh, tickets, I did think they are a bit pricey. Hollow Wicked is usually like 35, 40 bucks. I understand this could have been like because of a last minute thing. Locking down this venue could have something to do with it. Um, and then as far as why it took so long, very much could have something to do with Jay's health. And if that is the case, I, I completely understand. But I did feel it was a little bit unfair to drop this news two and a half weeks from the show and with that price tag on it. Because a lot of people may have like already been like well it's not happening so cancel their plans whatever now don't have the money for it can't get the plans put back together or you know even if they weren't planning on it like you know oh, okay cool here's the information now well, now maybe they can't put it together because it's only two and a half weeks away so and with that price tag i know a few people that were having trouble getting the money together as far as i know everybody i know who wants to go was able to get a ticket, but that was kind of, you know, holy shit, last night, 125 bucks. Oh, and they go on sale this morning, and there's only a 1,000 available. So I thought that was a little, you know, a little unfair, a little sketchy. But, again, I don't know all the, uh, you know, everything that was going on, so I'm just assuming they just uh, did what they could, and, uh, and here we go. We're getting hollow wicked. So uh, I uh, had the time off already. I, I always put in for the time off for Halloween, as soon as they put our vacation calendar up at work. In fact, they just put it up two weeks ago for this coming year, and I already have Halloween off next year. <laughs> so uh, all good to go there. So, um, so yeah, just excited for Halloween. Glad they're still doing it. I'm obviously still going. I got my ticket, obviously. Uh, we're still doing Fright Fest. So just, uh, yeah, I know I'm repeating myself, but just excited to get out to Grand, uh, to Grand Rapids, to Detroit get out of Grand Rapids, go to Detroit, and spend Hollow Wicked and Fright Fest out there like I usually do every year. Obviously couldn't do it last year, so just glad to be getting back to some normalcy. And I hope everybody who wanted to go, or if you were planning on it uh, or weren't planning on it and now are, I hope everything works out and I hope everybody can get out there and we can all just fucking party and have a great time with Twisted and ICP at Fright Fest and Hollow Wicked. So that's pretty much all I got, so... As always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. This is Echo Side Fiend, and I will catch you in the next one, and I will see you at Fright Fest and Halloween. Too sweet.